birds is now a massive operation. It wasn't always that way. KCRG TV 9's Rebecca Vaughn met with the Iowa Giving Crew and brings us how the nonprofit has grown through the years. The Iowa Giving Crew has been helping families have Thanksgiving dinner for eight years now, but their origin story is a little bit unique. It started in 2017 with the prank on Craigslist. One of our friends had his information put on Craigslist to anybody remembers Craigslist, but uh, that he was giving away uh, turkeys at Thanksgiving. That friend was not giving away turkeys. That's a really bad prank. Um, now, seven years later, it's it's done a lot of good, um, but at that moment in time, you didn't feel more helpless to be able to help these people. The number of people who called showed the need for the meals in Cedar Rapids, so the friends sprang into action. In about five days, we raised fourteen hundred meal or fourteen hundred dollars, and that equated to eighty meals that year that we we were able to uh, provide on the fly. Uh, for people in need it for Thanksgiving. Fast forward to this year. 2,000 meals will be distributed, each feeding four people. We posted signups last week and they closed in about, depending on the location, 24 to 48 hours, um, which just shows us that the need is there. With the hopes to feed even more in the coming years. We can't do it without partnerships. Iowa Giving Crew is 100% volunteer led and every dollar in goes back out. And so because we don't have a staff and an executive director or things of that nature, to put it on, we need the community support. So if the community really wants to step up and, and help us get to a really awesome number next year, uh, we would be so thankful. Helping families who otherwise may not have a hot meal on Thanksgiving. To be able to see the kids in the car and the dogs and the moms and the grandmas is something that I would ask everybody to be a part of, you know, volunteer around the holidays because the, the graciousness that people have make it all worth it. In Cedar Rapids, Rebecca Vaughn, KCRG TV9 News.